vehicles traveling extra slowly here through the floodwaters in Minden. This is where a state of emergency has been in effect since Saturday due to flooding. The nearby Gull River has burst its banks and officials tell us that the water levels have risen about six feet over the last six days. Usually in the month of May you see 100 millimeters of precipitation and we have had uh, haven't seen uh, the overnight numbers, whatever, but I would say we've had 160 or 170 millimeters in less than a week on already saturated ground. That rain has turned roads into rivers and playgrounds are now underwater in the small community northeast of Toronto. It's where many people in the GTA own cottages that are now vulnerable to the high water levels. Even the bus to school has been exchanged for a boat. It's really weird and I haven't had an experience like it yet. It's a little strange because I've never done this before. As of this morning, the Gull River hadn't crested, but the town says it's expected to reach its peak by tomorrow. It's reminiscent of the flooding in 2013 that destroyed many homes and businesses in the same community. I actually was able to speak with a lot of people because I was covering for the for the paper and everybody was just so sad, so very, very sad. But what was really interesting is that as the water rose, so did the number of volunteers. Those volunteers donating their time to not only making more than 50,000 sandbags, but also delivering them. It feels good um, to be able to help people that are in need and hopefully, eventually, you'll be able to have them help you. Even Hydro One crews use their trucks to transport the bags. Self-evacuation is taking place. Some of those who are waiting it out at home, though, have to wade through the water that's now covering the town. We'll still have weeks and months to deal with the aftermath of this, but uh, we're hoping that the peak is soon in sight. The sandbagging is continuing, but even though the rain has stopped, officials here in the town say that the water that's on the ground may not go away until the end of the month. In Minden, Tammy, Sutherland City News.